We're in the Engadin, San Moritz airfield, one of the most desirable exotic locations in the world, driven here in two fantastic cars, both front engined, both four wheel drive with the same name FF. On my left, Ferrari's FF, and going back 40 years, we have Jensen's FF. Brilliant ways to turn up at San Moritz. Winter time in the Engadine. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. Blue sky, white snow, sub zero. And I'm driving the Jensen FF. But 40 years ago, if you'd driven a Lamborghini Miura or, or a big Aston or a Maserati, I think you'd have probably put that away for the winter. Now, the FF stands for Ferguson Formula. And I'm sure many of you will know that that was the four wheel drive version of the famous Jensen Interceptor. But with the four-wheel drive of the FF, you've got pretty good performance, you've got a two plus two seating, and you've also got the security of knowing that when it gets pretty slippery, the four-wheel drive should help you out. Jensen FF with its four wheel drive is a pretty cool car to be in and it's got me here in some style. horsepower, four-wheel drive just when you need it. The temperature on the clock is zero and I'm in the snow setting and the car is behaving just beautifully. The seven-speed twin-clutch gearbox is absolutely brilliant. Ferrari introduced this for the California but still has got that macho bang when you really need it. I really like these big Ferraris. There's something about a V12 front-engined Ferrari that's, that just feels so right. And driving it here in the Engadin Mountains, just on the Benina Pass, it's a, it's a cliche, but life doesn't get a lot better than this. Ferrari's magnificent new supercar really sets the standard for getting to places you wouldn't think were possible in years gone by. But going back 40 years, you'd be surprised at how impressive the Jensen is. Going home to Zurich, perhaps I'll try something else. <laughs>